Hello guys, uh, how are you doing? Yeah, I'm Tassos and this is my <laughs> Atari 2600 collection. Uh, yeah, focus, please. It's very hot and humid. It's uh, a very quiet evening. And we're gonna be doing a little gameplay using the paddle controllers. Now, uh, if you haven't seen those before, those are analog knobs. Uh, I don't know how else to describe them. I think they're pretty far ahead of their time. And you play very specific games with those. You basically turn the knobs to go left and right. And their, move, their movements, they're kind of analog. And they're pretty sweet. They're pretty sweet, actually. And you can play classics like Breakout. Circus Atari, that's a more a more obscure one. Yeah, it tells us you have to press the screen to make it focus. Oh my god. Okay, and <laughs> of course, let's not forget about Kaboom, one of my personal favorites. And it's a really hard one, very challenging one. So, yeah, those are the paddle controllers. Let's play with those. Uh, let's see how they still hold up. They do get uh, a jittery effect, like sometimes, like after. Uh, all these years, um, you know, they, they, they're they old stuff, you know, uh, you can have that thing happen to you, but the, it's an easy fix, there's uh, plenty of videos out there explaining how you can take these off, take the whole, the whole thing apart, and basically uh, clean it up a bit, and then you're good to go, it's, it, it's basically as brand as new, as brand new. So, Without further ado, because anyway, I wasn't going to show you unscrewing this thing and basically what you need to do, because I'm pretty bad at those. I mean, I can do it, but I think I'm pretty bad at making this as a video for some reason. I think I'm a klutz and I'm really slow at that. So, yeah, let's get to play games with the paddle controllers. Okay, as you can see... We now have breakout on and it moves very smoothly once I press press reset on the console stall working it, it like it moves so smooth like I can't show you like it can't actually reach that far but I'm press reset and try to play Oh, it works so smooth now. This is so satisfying. I'm playing Breakout on the Atari 600 using the paddle controllers. That's so sweet. Oh my god. And you know, the, the good thing about that is that the sweet, the really sweet thing about that is that it goes haywire after a while. It's so intense. Like people from the 2020s playing video games will be like oh my god this guy's a caveman what is he doing but oh you have no idea how good that is and I'm not a 70s guy you know I'm a I was born in the 80s mostly raised in the 90s my sweet spot my sweet spot for video games is the 16-bit era, you know, Super Nintendo, Sega Mega Drive, Sega Genesis, as you know, as you know it, and in the U.S. And I am playing this on my superb Sony Trinitron TV. I usually play Dreamcast on that screen, Resident Evil 2 on the Dreamcast. We'll do that sometime if you like. Wow. I could be playing this for hours. I'm not even joking. But I can't do this for hours because basically I have to go to the beach at some point with my friends. And there's also another thing. I can't keep up this for long because it goes insane after a while. I've already lost two times. I know I'm not like 100% focused, but still. Still, you have no idea how good that is. It's extremely sensitive. It moves exactly the way you want it to move. Oh, oh, oh no, oh. 
Oh, oh, yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. All right. Oh, what? Oh, oh, oh. See, it's relentless. I have no hope. Yeah, once once he'll hit like the light green one, it'll start going like super fast. I think I have one ball left, or let's just say a square left. Oh, oh, there we go. Oh, oh, I have no balls left. I have no squares left. So that's pretty crazy. Let's go to the next game. Let's go for Circus Atari. It's insane how I got it to work, like on one attempt. I uh, pressed pause on me recording because I thought it wouldn't, you know, uh, that it would need, you know, some, maybe some Q-tip or whatever, but no, <laughs> for some reason, a 40-year-old console uh, did okay, did, did more than okay versus my PS4 that needs an update already. Oh yeah, I have to press a reset. There are some games that you can actually press the button on there and they'll just start on their own. And here we go, we're good to go. You know, when I press the button, the magic will begin. This is Circus Atari. It's kind of tricky. Uh, oh, 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 fatality. I know, wrong game. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. All right. Oh, I'm pulling it off. Oh, that's even harder than Breakout. <laughs> but wait, I have to hit those things. Oh, uh, oh, I have to hit those things, I think. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it is like Breakout, but you, you just have to time it like properly. And oh, understand? Oh, oh, oh! It's risky. Oh, oh, oh! That's so satisfying. Oh, <laughs> oh my God! That's so hard. That's so hard. But since the video is taking too long, I would play this all day again. I can't do that because I can't keep up. A and B. I have to go to the beach now that the sun is kind of setting. The sun never sets in Greece. Yeah, I, I'm not trying to brag, it's a thing. So, <laughs> yeah, let's do this, let's play Kaboom! Let's torture ourselves even more now. And we're set. I think if I press the button, it'll be able to just start. No, it's not a thing. Anyway, this is Kaboom by Activision. Activision made some killer apps for the Atari back in the day. Kaboom is one of those. Okay, we're good to go. So we're gonna catch him bombs. This is really hard. This is a really hard game. Yeah, there is some jittery effect that is not that visible on on Breakout or Circus Atari. But it still moves relatively well, or at least way better than it. It's only when I touch it like the wrong way. Like, yeah, it's kind of jeery, it is. But, you know, kind of steadies up. I, I don't know how to, oh, 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 oh. Things are gonna get, start to get really, oh, oh. Okay, we're still pulling it off. We're still pulling it off. Okay, okay, now things are gonna, start to get a little crazy. Okay, okay. Okay, oh. Oh. Boom. Now we have two left. Oh, oh, oh my god. Yeah, and the, the thief, the, the convict, or whatever he is, he's so happy. He's so happy. Look at him. Look at how happy he is. So, yeah, this is Kaboom. Uh, might, might just, might as well just try just one more time, just one more time. These games were so fun back in the day. How did they mess up video games today? Yeah, I'm kidding. Like, yeah, there are some cases though that you have to admit that older games, 
even primitive games like that with all their issues they did their thing they fed on us being addictive because the games were addictive actually anyway I, I won't start talking about that because I might start saying things that don't make any sense because also I have some uh, heat going going on here it's really hot it's really humid I'm pulling it off I'm so insane I'm insane I'm insane I'm insane I'm in so oh, shit all oh, the things get real now okay did, did I break my record come on thief oh that's insane that's so insane so those were Circus Atari breakout and kaboom if you haven't played those if you have an Atari and you don't have any paddle controllers just pick them up they're easy to fix uh, if, they're, if they have that jittery effect uh, you can place um, you can play some uh, some grease with uh, a, a, an, a q-tip a q-tip um, inside where you know where, where supposedly the connections create that problem with the jittery effect but uh, before you place anything with the q-tip just advise people that actually know what they're doing out there like just uh, go ahead and Google search that shit Google search how to fix that jittery effect because you don't want me to start talking about that I might give you uh, information that could be uh, potentially uh, dangerous for your electrical devices so forget I even said anything don't place with a q-tip anything on your devices or in your devices just go ahead and Google search everything you can see plenty of people fixing that jittery effect. I own, what I did was actually open them up and uh, just swipe them up a bit with a napkin and that was it. Okay? Just uh, go ahead on a YouTube video and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. And if they're getting like too dry in there, those paddle controllers, just advise Google or people that actually know uh, what you should do about that. But anyways, those were the games. Kaboom, Circus Atari, and Breakout. I'm going to be playing more Breakout later on. Bye-bye.